Hi, my name is Glenn Hussman. I'm just making this video for the Free County Software users to show you guys how to lodge your bass in Free County Software. So, um, I've just um, in the previous video I listed the bass. So, under the activity statement option, we have a bass here, uh, which is the July 2005 business activity statement, uh, which we're going to lodge in this video. So I'll just double click on that, go to the transactions page, there's currently no transactions listed. I haven't actually entered any transactions in this ledge yet. Um, and then go to the lodge page. Okay, so we can see that we've got a GST obligation from 1st of July through to 31st of July 2005. So uh, that's the date range that's set in the ATO test data, so I'm using that date range. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is go and enter a few transactions and get them to um, and get some numbers on this bass. So um, just go back to the sales worksheet and enter a new transaction, and um, we'll have to choose a date in. July 2005. All right, so we haven't even got any um, counterparties set up yet. So let me just quickly set one up. It's actually um, not important for this demonstration. So I'm just going to set one up called not applicable and use that on all of these transactions. Okay, so the um, reason I'm showing you entering of the transactions is so that you can see um, what they are and later how that flows through to the activity statement. So in this case I've um, put a, an amount of 110 and the tax code is GC taxable sales so it's calculated the $10 tax. Um, the tax code is what controls where it goes on the bus. Okay and then save and um, want to enter another transaction um, just to make it quick, there is this thing called copy to new and it does what it says it does where it just copies it um, to a new transaction um, and then I can just change a few things and maybe it's 200. Um, in this case I'll make this one a GST free sale. Okay, so um, yeah. I want to also enter a couple purchases. Okay, so this is a $55 purchase with $5 GST included. When you're entering purchases, make sure you make a, a select the correct tax code um, depending on what you're buying and making sure you have a tax invoice and so on. Um, again I'll just create another one and make this a GST free purchase. Okay. So now that we've got a few transactions entered, we can go back to the activity statement and um, we can generate some transactions in this um, table. So to do that, we click this button here called Generate Transactions. Um, there is one thing to select first, and that is this field that says Include Unreported Transactions for X Additional Months. And what that relates to is um, that um, this is not 
just a GST report. Um, it's not just saying, all right, show me all the transactions between this date and this date. It's actually um, linking up the transactions to the activity statement that they're lodged on. And that means that if you had a transaction from a prior period that had been missed for some reason, like entered after you lodged the BAS and it didn't get onto that BAS, it would be called an unreported transaction. And you can pick it up and put it on this BAS, which in a lot of cases is, is allowed. So there's, there's rules about whether you're allowed to do that or not. But um, in this case, I'm just going to select none. And that means I'm just um, generating transactions between the 1st of July and the 31st of July, just this BAS period. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on this, including of unreported transactions. So, you know, maybe if you're a beginner to this, you want to just select the none option or and have a look at that other video when I create it. Okay, clicking generate transactions and it generates the four transactions. So we've got that GST taxable sale, we've got the GST free one, uh, we've got the um, taxable purchase and the GST free purchase. These transactions are clickable so you can double click on it and you go to the page or the transaction edit page. You can make some change if you found an error um, and save that and then using this navigation bar at the top you can click back to the activity statement transactions page. Okay, so you would review this, make sure you're happy with it and then um, there's a link at the top here to go to the lodge page. Okay, um, now there is an option here, GST reporting option. Um, I've noticed that in a lot of the buses that the ATO is issuing, there is no real um, um, selection here, it just says none, and if that's the case you can just leave it blank. In this case I think I've got to select this option here, um, option two. Uh, incidentally, if it, 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 there's an option one and an option two often, uh, if you are presented with that, it's probably, I, I don't like this option two, Calc GST report, quarterly and report annually, uh, because that annual um, statement is a paper based one and can't be lodged electronically and it's a bit of a pain. Um, so um, anyway, um, in this case there is only one option so I guess I've got to select that. Okay, scroll down, review all the information and with everything that gets lodged there is a declaration to tick. So you're declaring that it's true and correct. Um, machine credential is actually already selected here and um, I just have to put in the password Oops. there's two buttons here, there's a pre-lodge which sends it to the ATO for validation uh, but doesn't actually lodge it um, and the lodge button the, the pre-lodge is pretty useless on a business activity statement. There's not so much that can go wrong in terms of validation. So I'm just going to click the lodge button. Okay, the software contacts the ATO in the background and this page refreshes in 10 seconds. Alright, and um, let's come back with an OK. Some of this text here is, is not correct, it's just an ATO test system, so, um, so that's the reason for that. But that's the process you go through, uh, the basic process to, to lodge a bass. Um, I'm going to go in more depth with um, um, some other features of this process 
um, and I suggest that you take a bit of time to to watch the additional um, videos in Bass Lodge Movement because the number of times that I'll get um, um, you know a, a, a new client who's whose GST accounts just don't add up, you know, there's um, unclaimed GST in there that, you know, they bought stuff and it's never made its way onto a bass. And it's often, or, or the opposite, and it's often built up over a number of years. Um, this system, and, and when that happens, it's impossible to figure out what's going on. Um, and it to me it seems like a lot of businesses um, have this issue so um, it, this software helps you um, not just lodge the bass but make sure it's correct and um, in, in the next in, in some other videos I'll go into more detail on how it does that. Okay I hope the video has been useful to you and thanks for watching.